Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the lightweight bout between Grant Dawson versus Leonardo Santos. So, um, first thing jumping off the board is the fact that Leonardo Santos is like 41 or 42. He's up there in age. And he came into the UFC up there in age. I think he came to UFC like 35, 36, or even 37. And the route he took has been very slow and very questionable. And I'm not really going to dwell, in, like, dwell into it too much or look into it too much, but... I don't know if it's been contract issue or people ducking him and not wanting to fight him, but all whatever the case may be, the route he has taken has been very questionable. When you come up there up in age, you should just be in there when you came to UFC. I know it's about evolution. It's not about rushing it no matter what age you come into it at all. It's about making the right decision and then taking it smart. Maybe sometimes even if you're an older fighter, you got to take it slow because you got limited time so you can't afford to make mistakes. And he hasn't made many mistakes as far as, like as far as his MMA career goes. He hasn't made... That many fakes hasn't been had that many losses, so he's been consistent, but or he's been winning, he's been a winner. But as far as getting in the cage and winning the battle of getting in the cage, he's been losing that battle now. He's 41, and at some point, your body's like when you you hit 50, you're pretty much done. I mean, you are done no matter how good you are. When you hit 50, you're done. I mean, he's still a long way from 59 years, but but yeah, it's definitely interesting path about his career. It just hasn't suffered many losses, been good, but. Hasn't been active, but age catch up to everybody. I'm saying 50, but 40s been general. Especially when you start getting into the tour of mid 40s, like you only, you like no matter how good you are, you're pretty much done. Let you something, but even it's been a very slim amount of people that may have been good up into that age. And 41 just raised a lot of eyebrows. And look at the Bogota fight. Yes, he looked good in the fight. Saw some fatigue in that fight. Saw him get controlled in that fight. And I, I definitely think he should be able to outstrike Grant Dawson on his feet. But I feel like Grant Dawson, he's just a relentless type of fighter. And he's going to find a way to get it to the ground. Like, there's definitely good money to put on um, Santos. But just looking at the Bogodol fight, I got to lean to Grant in this one just for his pace. The fact that he will get it to the ground. And also, I look at, um, I look at Santos. And um, he hasn't really had no submissions off his back, especially at the highest level. In like UFC and MMA, maybe in like BJJ, he got some submissions on his back, but he's going against a wrestler, and his submissions that usually come from being in the top position, not from being in the bottom position. Now you're gonna get a guy that's gonna put like likely put you in your back, and if you can submit Bogotov, who I feel like was even more one dimensional and even less rounded out, now you're gonna get this with a rounded fighter with you know a more educated BJJ game, and a wrestling game to like to complement that, and it's gonna have the pace to push you on your back and the skills to push you on your back. And hold it down. I'm, not, I'm not saying go out there and just put him on his back for three rounds and make it look easy. I'm not saying he's going to do that, make it look hard and do it. I'm just saying that's going to be a path to victory for him. And he's going to have a significant amount of time in those areas. I feel on the feet, he's going to be able to control the distance, maybe avoid taking the most damage, and then find some time to land some of his own shots and look for those takedowns and just wear down Santos. It's going to be a tight, not the prettiest type of a matchup, but. I just think um, the younger fighter, what, like 27-year-old, 28-year-old, 8 year old I said 27, 28, but yeah, 27, 28-year-old, sub-30 versus a guy who's over 40 years old. I think Grand Dawson is going to be out of work. The, the older the older man with his pace and with his style, I think his stylistically, I think this matchup favors him. Still a close, tight, competitive matchup, or at least can be, but I think it's going to be clear winner is going to be Grand Dawson just outworking Santos in this one and with his wrestling and in the control. So in this one, I got Grant Dawson via decision.